Hello everybody and welcome to another Beyblade video. This time, I don't really have battles. I'm gonna make you guys submit combos so I can do some battles. This is gonna be a tournament. It's just gonna be like a normal bracket style tournament. I'll find a way, I guess I'll um, randomize how the bracket is formed. But anyway, the first few things you need to know are, I will be doing this on my own, so there might, like if there are a lot of attack types, the battles might be a bit harder to do, but I think it's fine just as long as you guys get to submit your combos and see them in action, I'm perfectly fine. Um, so. Battles will be in the Takeratomi uh, B09 style stadium, which is the standard stadium with the three pockets. Um, this is the Chozy promotional one from like right before Beyblade vs. Chozy got released. So that's like that makes it so that the battles are completely fair. Terminants that it's tournament style can't speak right now. So the three launchers I will be using are the Chosy Achilles launcher, which is the also known as the um, Long LR Bay Launcher, or Long Bay Launcher LR. I can change the grip, but I think that the Achilles la launcher is like the one that needs the grip the most so that the string doesn't come back and hit me. I'll also be using the normal um, Bay Launcher LR, which that actually says the name right there. Um, but I'm gonna be using this one mainly for left spin bays and also for right spin bays that like you don't want launched too hard because my Achilles Launcher has a broken left spin gear in it, so a left spin bay will not work very well. Then I'll also be using the Dragon Winder if you guys want me to. So like, um, when you submit your combo, which I will show you all the parts that will be available to use in the tournament. I have them all lined up. So it, after your combo name or before the combo name, anywhere in the comment, just put if you want uh, the Dragon Winder or if you don't care what launcher because I'm not going to be using the Dragon Winder that much. It's not the most convenient launcher. I still haven't mastered like how hard I can launch. So it's not going to be used as much as the normal Bay Launcher LR. Also, if you guys really, really want me to, I can also use the um, the normal left string launcher, but that's only if you really want your bay to be extremely soft launched, which I don't know of any bays other than like Drain or Geist, Fafnir, that would want that. So I have all the parts lined up on these mats. You probably saw the drivers and were scared like, oh no, well, they're not gonna be enough drivers. But don't worry, there will definitely be enough. Especially because I'm guessing not a lot of people are gonna go. So, okay, I'm gonna be holding this with, holding the iPad with my hand. So I can show you all the parts. So these are the layers. We'll go from up here. I have them all in sections. So this is the God layer section. I have Arc Bahamut, a defense type, Drain Fafnir, Metal God Chip, and Normal God Chip, which if you have a God Bay, then you can just tell me if you want to change the God Chips. This is Ah, I don't want to hold it like this. My god. Okay, I think this will be a good setup for it. So, 
Yeah, Ark Bahamut, both Dream Fafnirs, two twin nemesises, uh, a god Valkyrie, which is in weird condition. It has some broken teeth. And it also, well, let me just show you teeth a little bit better. So yeah. Um, also it has the Hasbro starter pack Valkyrie, or Valtrek V3 wings. Basically, it doesn't even matter. It's the same thing. I just did it because it looks better than the old dented wings. Because I used them way too much. And I have Deep Chaos which is in good condition. Tornado Wyvern with the Metal God chip. Beak Koken. This one is a really hard to burst mold of Beak Koken. And then I have Sig Excalibur, which is probably my most beat up God Bay. The God chip never stays in place. Um, the sword is a little bit dented. And two of the teeth are like completely ruined. But if you still want it, that's fine. Okay, then I have three sections down here. I'll explain those as I go. So these are the Chozibes. So I have the Achilles with one broken teeth. I mean, one broken tooth. That one right there is almost completely flat. Other than that, I think it's perfect condition. Um, winning Valkyrie, which I would have my other winning Valkyrie here as well, but the metal broke, so we can't use that. So, one of the teeth is already broken even though I got this in December for Christmas and I didn't even use it too much. Then I have Archer Hercules, almost perfect condition, a few little dents, not bad. And the teeth are almost exactly perfect. Then Orb Aegis, teeth are good and it has a little bit of damage from one of from a 12 disc right there but as far as I know it hasn't uh, had an impact on its performance then we have bloody longness if this can focus so bloody longness, great. Um, yeah, good condition. Cause I don't use it that much and it doesn't burst that much when I use it. Crash Ragnarok, literally nothing wrong with this thing other than it was made with tiny teeth. Dead Hades. A lot of battle scars, but still pretty strong. The teeth are basically unbreakable. Then Geist Fafnir. Um, not much to say about this. It's good condition. Then over here, I have. Um, Apollos, or left Apollos and right Artemis. If you don't know, um, well, you can take the cores out and then break them in half, basically. And then if you don't want left Apollos or right Artemis, and you actually want the combined version, 
You can have right eclipse or left eclipse. I'm not gonna put the eclipse form together because that would just be a waste of time. I'm trying to blast through this as quickly as possible. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, Josie Awakening Bays. So, Josie Valkyrie has three burst stoppers. Um, and although those burst stoppers reduce its attack power a little bit, they also make it impossible to burst unless it gets hit by an extremely strong attack that pushes this burst stopper in. Then Josie Spriggan has two burst stoppers for both directions. So you can have in right rotation or left rotation, just tell me in the comment if you want this which uh, rotation and yes you have to stick with one rotation for the whole tournament then there's Chosie Achilles two burst stoppers and these two shields that pop out with the burst stoppers uh, that are supposed to reduce recoil they really don't do much from what I've seen so this thing is a massive like smash attacker can burst a lot of things just as long as it gets the hits then Beyblade Burst GT I only have one bay so Ace Dragon um, but it came with two other bases so you can ask for Ace Dragon you can ask for Rock Dragon and you can ask for Grand Dragon. So Grand Dragon is, so this is for stamina, Grand Rock is for defense, and Ace is for attack. Um, also, side note, especially for these three, so Apollos, Artemis, slash Eclipse, and the Dragon Bay. Um, it's a it's all on a first come first serve basis. So whoever comments it first gets the bay first. So check the other comments if there are any other comments. <laughs> I hope there are. So check the other comments. Make sure that uh, the bay you wanted didn't get taken. And all in all, if you want these bays, go quickly because you can't have Ace Dragon, Rock Dragon, and Grand Dragon in the tournament. Because then what happens if they meet up? We can't do the battle. So, on to the next section. Uh, I should put my launcher away again. Don't need it for the other sections. So these are all the discs. All Almost all of them are core discs. I made sure to only include discs that were released from the God Lair series all the way to Chozy and GT. So for this I will I'll just navigate my way through it. So let's hope this can focus. Okay. So I have three copies of the zero disc. One copy of the Zero Zero disc, which is the heaviest core disc. Um, I have two copies of the One disc, two copies of the One Dash disc, two copies of the Two disc, one copy of the Three disc, four copies of the Four disc, which is ironic, but I also have another copy that's painted, but I don't want to use that because... Um, it got ruined. Um, then three copies of the five disc, which I was surprised about. Three copies of the six disc, which I am not surprised about. I'm pretty sure those are my only three. 
two copies of the 7 disc. One of them is Hasbro, which is slightly lighter, and the other is Takeratomi, slightly heavier. So basically, if the first person gets to decide Hasbro or Takeratomi, if they don't say anything, I'll just ask. If they don't specify, I'll just give them Takeratomi. Um, so, four copies of the eight, no, three copies of the eight disc. I might, no, I do have a fourth one, but like, I don't see that many using many people using um, the 8 disc. This one's shiny and new because it's Hasbro and it's uh, from Spiral Treptune, which I did not unbox or use in this channel before because it wasn't that interesting. Um, then I also have one copy of the 8 dash disc. Then here come the three types of discs that no one will use, which are the 11 disc. I have two of those. Three 12 discs. Which, if you're gonna use the 12 disc, you have to put a frame on it. I don't want anything of mine getting ruined, like Orbeez just did. <laughs> Although, it didn't get ruined that badly. I have one copy of the 13 disc. I don't know where my other copy is. I, lo I lost it a few months ago. And then I have the three non-core discs. Which are the outer disc, the zenith disc, and the Sting Disc. Boom. <laughs> okay. So then, frames. You don't have to put a frame. If you're using the 12 disc, you do have to put a frame on. If you're using one of these three, you can't put a frame on, so don't, don't ask for like, Chosy Valkyrie, Sting, Vortex, Charge, or something, because I wouldn't do that. I'd only do like Sting Charge if you asked for that. So, oh, why do I have that mixed up? Okay. I have three copies of the Vortex disc, two copies of the Cross disc, one copy of the Glaive. I mean, I've been saying disc. I mean, frame. Three copies of Vortex, two of Cross, one of Glaive, three copies of Meteor. Two copies of Star, two copies of Flow, one copy of Under, one copy of Bump, one copy of the Hit Frame because I lost the one from my original Twin Nemesis, two copies of the Dagger Frame, one copy of the Proof Frame. One copy of the lift frame, because I got uh, Hasbro's Leopard L4 yesterday. So, lift frame. For the lift frame, you can tell me um, wider part down, or um, thinner part down. I don't know their actual names. Um, so, just to make it easier on me. If you're gonna use lift, just say wider or thinner part down. I have the turn frame. Just tell me attack or defense mode. I'll know depending on the direction. If, it's, if this is right spin, it'll be defense. For left spin, this would be attack and vice versa. And then the last frame I have is the wall frame. This has no mode changes. It's just the heaviest frame. Also, if you're hearing some music that's not the music you've been hearing the whole video, then, sorry, I cannot control that. That is probably my mom downstairs. Okay, so over here, I'm going to switch to the other side of the iPad for convenience, because there's a wall right there. So, I split the drivers into the four types just to make it a little bit easier. Um, like, more organized, I guess. Let me just do that. Okay. So over here, for the attack type drivers, I have Reboot, Evolution, Fully Worn, Ultimate Reboot, Spiral, Iron, 
Charge, the heaviest driver around. Volcanic. Volcanic Dash. Sword. And Destroy. Sadly, not Destroy Dash. They're all in good condition. Don't worry about that. Okay, over here, we're going to defense type drivers, which there are only five of. So I have Yard, Atomic, uh, Guard, Orbit, and Quest, which I'm guessing no one's going to use unless you're memeing around. Which that would be funny to see something with Quest actually win a battle. Also, well actually no, I'll explain a little bit more at the end. Um, which we are getting close to the end. So here for stamina types, I have Cycle, which I did not spin very well. <laughs> uh, wedge, Nothing, Eternal, Bearing and Absorb. Then for um, balance type drivers, I only have four of them. So I have Zephyr, Zephyr Dash. Zeta Dash, which for Zeta Dash, tell me stamina, defense, or attack mode. You can only have one mode throughout the whole thing. And then I have Dimension. Just tell me short balance mode, short attack mode, medium balance mode, medium attack mode, um, or tall balance mode, or tall attack mode. So any mode, any modes will have to be permanent. Also, I forgot to say, um, for, what's his name? Twin Nemesis? Uh, just tell me upper mode or smash mode, and that's also the only mode you can have throughout the whole thing. So, all of this, this is what you're able to use. I will see, I might be able to put some timestamps. Oh, that's fine. I might be able to put some timestamps for layers, disks, frames, and drivers, just to make it a little bit easier on you guys. But if I don't, then while you're scrolling through the video, remember red is layers. Blue is discs, green is frames, and yellow is drivers. Also, all battles will be to three points. Burst finish will count as two points. Ring out, one point, and spin finish will be one point. Also, any ties will be redone. And if I can't tell what the outcome of the battle is, then it would also count as a tie. And if I'm not looking, which I shouldn't be doing, but sometimes I do it, um, then I will also count that as a tie. So, thank you guys for watching. Please comment down a combo in the comments below. Comment down a combo in the comments below. Oh my god. Why can't I think before I speak? So, yeah. Make sure that your combo isn't taken. I don't want to have to sort through like 10 comments that have the same combo. Like Chosy Valkyrie, um, double O, um, turn charge or something. I don't want to deal with that. So make sure to check all the combos. Refresh the page if you need to. And also slice that like button. Subscribe, um, comment down below, obviously, <laughs> and if you really want to, share with your friends so that they can 
be part of the tournament and you can beat them up. <laughs> See you all next time.